Now on for the dinosaur of the day, Lythronax, which was requested from Brendan via Facebook, so thanks Brendan. If my voice sounds funny, it's because I was on a uh, company summit for the past week and got a little bit sick, so I apologize for that, but on the bright side, the summit was great. <laughs> Anyway, back to the dinosaur of the day. So, Lythronax is a tyrannosaur theropod that lived in what is now modern-day Utah. It lived in the late Cretaceous. The species is Lythronax argestes, which it's known from an adult specimen consisting of a nearly complete skull, pubic bones, tibia, fibula, and metatarsals. The name means gore king, and the name uses king, like in T-Rex, because it's so similar to T-Rex. So, T-Rex means tyrant, lizard, or... You know, people think of it as the king. Anyway, Argestes refers to the area in Utah where the fossils were found. The bones were discovered in 2009 in Utah in the Grand Staircase area, which we've mentioned before in previous episodes that's come up in the news. The Waweep Formation, specifically where it was found, is part of the Grand Staircase region, and it had a wet seasonal climate and lakes, floodplains, and rivers. The full name of the Grand Staircase region is Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument, and it's been described as, quote, the last great largely unexplored dinosaur boneyard in the lower 48 states. This is according to Scott Sampson. Lythronax lived in Laramidia, which was a landmass that was separated from North America by a seaway, and it's the earliest tyrannosaurid from Laramidia, so the oldest known. It's also the most complete specimen from southern Laramidia. Laramidia was swampy and coastal to a subtropical island continent. Again, Lythronax was the, is the earliest known tyrannosaur from southern Laramidia, but earlier tyrannosaurs from other areas were much smaller, such as Guanlong. It took a year to excavate Lythronax. The specimen is now housed in the Natural History Museum of Utah in Salt Lake City, and it took 10 months to prepare the bones, which was done mostly by volunteers. It wasn't officially named until November 2013 when the study was published. So Lythronax is a bipedal carnivore. It's 26 feet or 8 meters long and 5,500 pounds or 2.5 tons. This is based on close relatives sizes. And Lythronax had forward-facing eyes, a narrow snout, and a wide back of the skull, which researchers thought didn't appear until 70 million years ago, but Lythronax was 10 million years earlier than that. Its skull is similar to that of a T-Rex with its eyes facing front, so it had depth perception. And its skull is also similar to Tarbosaurus. But T-Rex lived 10 to 12 million years later than Lythronax, so Lythronax probably evolved in isolation on Laramidia. Lythronax probably shows that there are different Tyrannosaur species that lived in North and South Laramidia at the same time. Then the seaway grew smaller, but climate variations and different food sources may explain why late Cretaceous dinosaurs in Western North America look different from dinosaurs on other continents at the same time. Because geologically, Lythronax is the oldest known tyrannosaurid from southern Laramidia and is most closely related to T-Rex and Tarbosaurus, which are the geologically youngest tyrannosaurids, the tyrannosaurid group probably diversified earlier than 80 million years ago, so there's probably a lot of other unknown tyrannosaurids to be discovered, so that's pretty exciting. Some tyrannosaurids probably immigrated to Asia around the end of the Cretaceous, or some originated in northern Laramidia or western North America, with many species moving to southern Laramidia. There's a study that analyzed 501 skeletal features in 54 species of carnivorous dinosaurs and found Lythrodax to be most closely related to T. rex and Tarbosaurus. Lythrodax had large teeth that were quote-unquote banana-shaped meat cleavers, though they were actually smaller than bananas, and they were serrated. They probably used their teeth to crush bone and slice flesh, and they could probably swallow their meat whole. The teeth are described as banana-like because they're round and curved back. It was probably the largest predator of its time and place. Herbivores in the area included hadrosaurs and chylosaurs and ceratopsians, so may have gone after those for food. And if you want, you could see a skull of Lythronax at the Natural History Museum of Utah. So Lythronax was a tyrannosaurid. Tyrannosauridae means tyrant lizards and they're theropods. There's two subfamilies with up to 11 genera, but the number of genera is controversial. Some people think that there may only be three. They lived in the late Cretaceous in Asia North America. They're usually the largest predators in their time and place. One of the largest species was T-Rex. Not many complete specimens have been found for known tyrannosaurids, but many genera have complete skulls. Some tyrannosaurids had crests above their eyes. They tended to have small arms but long legs. And juvenile tyrannosaurids had longer legs that were more suited to running fast, but then that changed as they became adults. 
Scientists used to think tyrannosaurids moved between Asia and North America via the Bering Strait, but now they think all Asian tyrannosaurids may have been part of one evolutionary lineage.